The world is on the brink of a great scientific achievement. A COVID-19 vaccine will likely be ready by early next year. In fact, we'll probably have more than one vaccine ready. These vaccines will allow us to save millions of lives. They'll also have another enormous benefit. They'll allow us to develop a plan for the world to globally eliminate COVID-19. To achieve this goal of global elimination, we need three things. The capacity to produce billions of vaccines, the funding to pay for them, and the systems to deliver them everywhere. The world's low and lower middle income countries are home to nearly half of the global population. Because they don't have the purchasing power of the wealth in countries, they risk not getting nearly enough doses. Unless we do better, they'll only be able to cover 14% of their people with a COVID-19 vaccine. A vaccine can make COVID-19 a preventable disease, and no one should die of a preventable disease simply because the country they live in can't afford the vaccine. But you don't even have to care about the equity view to see the problem with the rich country only scenario. Today, even wealthy countries with very low case numbers are still suffering. Australia and New Zealand have done a great job and gone long stretches with very few cases inside their borders. But their economies remain distorted because their trading partners are on lockdown. And occasionally, a carrier of the virus uh, comes into these countries, creating new clusters of the disease. The only way to eliminate the threat of this disease somewhere is to eliminate it everywhere. The solution is not shaming the rich countries that are doing the natural thing of wanting to protect their people. The solution is to vastly increase the manufacturing capacity so we can cover everyone as soon as possible. It's been amazing to see these private companies agreeing to expand drug making capacity by using each other's factories. We have a number of agreements like this, but we need even more, especially for the vaccine. That's why I'm thrilled today to announce a new joint agreement signed this morning by 16 pharmaceutical companies and the Gates Foundation. In this agreement, the companies commit to, among other things, scaling up manufacturing at an unprecedented speed and making sure that approved vaccines reach broad distribution as early as possible. The next component we need for global elimination is the funding to pay for those vaccines. The next component we need for global elimination is the funding to pay for those vaccines. The pharmaceutical industry has already made significant commitments in this area as well. The companies involved in the agreement are committed to using donations for going profits and using tiered pricing to make their products as affordable as possible. So another element here is that we need public funding uh, to pay uh, for these vaccines for all countries. And this is where the ACT Accelerator comes in. It's supported by Gavi and the Global Fund. Both organizations have spent two decades becoming experts in how to buy and deliver vaccines, diagnostics and drugs to developing countries. The United Kingdom has donated enough money for the accelerator to purchase hundreds of millions of vaccine doses for poor countries. I wanna thank Prime Minister Johnson and the Foreign Secretary for this amazing leadership commitment. And I wanna encourage other countries to do the same. Finally, even when we have the manufacturing capacity and funding lined up, we'll need to strengthen health systems to achieve the broad coverage to deliver the vaccine and monitor for outbreaks. In doing this, we can take the lessons we've learned from the ongoing effort to eradicate polio. With the right diagnostics, health workers can also sound the alarm if a future disease jumps from bats or birds or any animal uh, to humans. 
In other words, we can also be building the system that will help reduce the damage of the next pandemic. I'm confident that the world will build a plan to eliminate COVID-19, saving millions of lives and getting on a path to global recovery. Thank you.